the many worlds interpretation is just that an interpretation it's not a it's not a fact it's not a, a hard and fast fact it's we look at what happens in quantum mechanics and this is how we interpret it that's that's all it is Stephen Hawking the now late Stephen Hawking that was, he was a huge proponent of it um, you were the other one. Oh, okay thank you I'm certainly not qualified to say much about it, unfortunately. I wish, but alas. Oh. This no. is curious. I will risk it for the biscuit, I suppose. This could go awfully. This could go ho 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 horribly. But I'm going to pretend that this can actually work. Okay, so this is the deck. We have this, so I think we have to keep, and then, all right, I'm going to skip you to the back. All right, so you see these, that's always nice, and we even have this, but we may be missing something, <laughs> something pretty important, and we could just dirtle for the whole game and never get to it. That is entirely possible. Love how we so having a conversation with someone about how you know what's retro to these youngins is not retro to us. All right, I will start off with Leyland of the Void, Life Force, and Anticipation. So my creatures that I totally have in this deck can't be countered. I can play my stuff with Flash, and you don't get a graveyard. I'll play a Sarah Sanctum and pass the turn. And. The quote here is, it's okay, our old folks' home is going to be freaking amazing with NES and SNES and VR games. Yeah. Underground. Yep. Ponder. Okay, ponder's good. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. So in the meantime, that means that this is what's left. So that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay. Draw. Alright. And go ahead. <gasps> Why? Why me? Pester. Yeah, there's a reason this is not a, a tiered deck. Brainstorm. Yep. Wait a minute, whoa, main, you, you're good, it resolves, but you play a land and then you main phase your brainstorm. You're, you're killing me inside. He's an elves player, no, no worries. This is how we learn. Brainstorming is an art. Yeah, because often what we'll do is we'll play it straight away, and then we'll play our land. Hopefully we'll get a fetch land so that we can shuffle the cards we don't want away. Because often that's what we want to do. Uh, though I have been in many a spot where I've wanted to keep a card I had to put back. Especially early in the game. You can't see. I am stretching. I'm going to be dulcet over here. Alright, go ahead. Alright. <laughs> Pass turn. Five cards in hand. Five cards in hand. Yeah, that's not my hand. 
just to be really passive aggressive. <laughs> because they're all going to be treated the same way, but your graveyard's actually exiled. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, who needs who needs to do anything this game? We're going to pass the turn. Who needs to do anything? <laughs> Answer no one. I'm just going to keep my little Tetris Creeping piece here. Carpet. Creeping carpet's good. Yeah, uh, there's nothing that's going to deal with your true name nemesis out. Uh, not on the board, anyway. And spoiler alert, this isn't a main board council's judgment deck. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Liliana seems good. Uh, she's going to plus... Crop rotation. Yeah. Like, I don't even care. Um, I get a graveyard, you don't. Because that's how Layla and the boy works. Uh, swirl three. Alright. Uh, can I see dice? Yes, you may indeed. Roll you to four. Mm. I'm going to cast in Lightning Tutor. Let's me tutor my... Uh, Look through my deck for an artifact or enchantment, put it on top. Right. What do you say? Yep. Alright. Whale. Whale. Let's see. I'm gonna take a suppression field. Spoiler alert, I'm going to attempt at some point to cast suppression field. And while you're tapped out, I'm actually going to do it pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to draw. Gee, I wonder what I drew. I'm going to cast Suppression Field. It's not going to resolve because that's how my life goes right now. Or does it? Does it resolve? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's it. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Alright. So your activated abilities that aren't mana abilities are going to cost you. Sure. Which means if Lily wants to plus... Gonna have to cost you two mana. Abrupt. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, this is going real well. Uh, ponder. Okay. Ponder's good. Alright. Deep thinking. I was amused. I don't remember who told me about this, but the, uh, the flavor of Norn the Wary, who bounces back to your hand every time a creature attacks or a player casts a spell. All the different ways that Norn wants to get out of there, get out of town. Uh, five. Alright. Ooh, ooh, not that one. <laughs> That's what I get for not looking. You get a ley line of the void. It was the one on the right. other side of my hand. Uh, well, spoiler uh, alert, you have that to look forward to. For three. Okay. Go ahead. Not like it matters at this rate. You know what? I'm just gonna do it now. Enlighten Tutor. Mm -hmm. Suppression fields. Pass turn. You're not gonna thought scour me. And you were down to two lands left. So Ooh. I figured if, in, if, oh, if yeah. at any point that would be the time. Don't want to leave you hard cast force of will mana. Not if I can help it. There we go. Sitting pretty on top there. <laughs> <laughs> um, guess what I'm going to do? Fate seal! Yep. Leave <laughs> it down. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> uh, feels bad, man. This is why we're actually supposed to wait, YouTube. <laughs> this is why we wait to cast our enlightened tutors. <laughs> I even knew it was a misplay, but I'm like, you know what? I just don't care enough right now. Aim for three. <laughs> Go ahead. Swear to God. So this is where the suppression field would have come out. Also, we didn't plus the Liliana. I'm just gonna scoop it up. Okay. If that, if this had been cast, would it have resolved? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just missed sequence, and I didn't mean to draw that. And then on the next turn, although I'm still probably dead, you saw the opalescence turn these into creatures. Hiya. Yeah. You know. But I'm still probably not gonna make All right. it. Well, Ley Lion's really getting it done. Has a, it has a good track record. <laughs> Alright. Well, I did a risky keep, but it, it made sense. It seemed better than going to six. That said, it didn't work out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, there we go. Well... Well, it's a serum powder hand, so mm. exile all of them, and it's actually a double serum powder hand. And let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not that having more than one does anything. All right, how are we doing this time? No, we have to go down, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to six in a deck that doesn't like that at all. Okay. Not at all. Serum powder did not get there. Yeah, it's a no land hand, man. Which, this deck, one of its biggest weaknesses is not only does it need land, it needs a specific land mm. to work. It's why we run essentially 12 copies of that land. I like to think of the serum powders as four extra copies of it, because they let me dig for it. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can't keep. We're going down to five. That's probably as far as this deck can go. Yeah. You actually can't win on turn one unless you have seven card hand. And you need a pretty good seven card hand, so you're not worried about that now. There's no need. Sarah Sanctum, five ley lines, and an opalescence. I, mean, I wouldn't mind if you went to six. You keep letting me go back. Oh. Uh, well, one turn. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a six then. See how we do. I'll do five and see how it would have looked, and then I'll, I'll look at the six card. Because I, I want to see what this would be like just here, and then we'll go to the last one. No land hand, man. <laughs> this feels bad. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, even if I mulligan into oblivion, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And that's what it's all about. Here we go. Ley lines, come on. You got one sleeve that's starting to tear. Yeah, these sleeves are about to get retired anyway. Okay, and then here's six. No land hand. This is actually unkeepable. I can't. It is. It is better to mulligan past that than just to. Maybe it's not, actually. Maybe it's not. Because you can't get the ley lines out, most of them, unless you get them on turn zero. Alright, we'll do one more five. Yeah. And I would have stuck it at five earlier if I 
if we weren't playing with this mulligan. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna pr well, well, we actually have a serum powder, so we're gonna do that. Back to seven. No, no, I wish serum powder reset. No, you keep the same number that you're at. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I can't not keep, you know, we're gonna stick at five. Leyland of the Void, Anticipation, Punishment. So the rules of the game are, I have flash, you get no graveyard, you can't, we can't gain life, we can't prevent damage. Okay, so those really matter here. <laughs> a lot. And then, yeah, so, uh, pass turn. Ah, <sighs> did I? I don't think I got a land in any... Okay, I got H a land in that first one. It wasn't the right one. Wrong card. <laughs> Deathright Shaman. I don't quite know that Deathright makes the Gosh, the cut for the yeah. ban list, but it is pretty ubiquitous. Good. All right. Well, that's just gonna be how my day goes. Sarah Sanctum at long last. <laughs> Past turn. I just realized the folly of this pain. Uh oh. You don't have a fetch land for death right? It doesn't matter anyway. Uh oh. Here we go. <gasps> yeah, I need to have a graveyard. Now, Layla the Void only hits you. So if I start playing stuff in my grave, you can do things. Yeah. So unfortunate death right is unfortunate. It's not quite a land of our elves. Not quite a bop. Bird of Paradise, strong though it may be. Yeah, I'm gonna retire this deck after this one. It doesn't leave me a lot of agency and it's not that good anyway. It, it can be a deck that's not very good, but as long as it gives me choices, I'll be okay with it. Yeah, there we go. But this one just kind of plays itself. <laughs> yep, draw your card. Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. Uh, and for one. All right. Go ahead. Whee! Whee! <laughs> yep. Really? Suppression field? Yep, suppression field. Good old suppression field. It hits half a card in my deck, but against yours, I'm gonna bet it hits a bit more than that. Spoiler alert, draw, cast the suppression field. Does it get I countered? Do do. Hmm. It makes it where activated abilities cost two more to play. Uh, yeah. Unless they're man abilities. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then pass turn. In other words, I'm trying to hold you back on things like mana and planeswalker abilities. If I can. We're getting there. Volcanic Island? Volcanic Island sounds good. Ponder. Resolves. Oh boy. Looking at some comments. Cut. Hey, there we go. The old, the tried and true, pick the deck up and see where it cuts itself. Way to do it. Yeah, not a lot I can do about that. I'll take two. Mm, go ahead. Opalescence? Uh, in response. Uh oh. Bring four. Yes. Mm. 
Show me some force of will shenanigans, my friend. <laughs> oh dear. Well, start, uh, still responding. Uh oh. Brainstorm. Oh, okay. Get that one card deeper. See what we can find. Okay. Yeah, there's this. I'm gonna swing at you for fourteen. Yep, I got five. Pass turn. So these are four fours, and that's a two two. Power toughness equal to their CMC. So you know, <laughs> there aren't any zero mana enchantments, but if there were, this would be silly. So now that I look at it, I do appreciate the art even more. Ravnica City of Guilds. Yep. I'm going to bet shuffle mode. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that goes to abrupt. It's oh, wait, a, uh, yeah, no, you can abrupt the suppression field. That is one of the strengths of the deck. It's essentially abrupt proof. Not the, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Leyland's got one game. One game. We're making strides. After now, granted, that was one game after what should have been a mulligan to like three. So you know, not not that big a deal. All right, man. Here we go. Ta da! All right. So you'll be on the play, I take it, right? Yep. Fair enough. I think in this deck, that's actually what I want. <clears throat> in this matchup, anyway. Oh. Okay. Well, hey. So this is this is fine. We this is unnecessary. Look at all this. We are missing something, but I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there. Eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay. Well. At least mana burns on thing <laughs> True, the deck that's going to make a bunch of mana off of one land is uh, indeed glad that mana burn is not a thing. It would be a nice way to concede every now and then. Just float a bunch of mana, pass turn, burn myself. Alright, but you got six and a half, so we'll see. I will keep this. You got it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. No. Mm. Oh, okay, there's a wasteland in hand. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And you ponder. Alright. I mean, there's not much I can do to play around said wasteland. 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 
I don't have a waistline. That's actually not a thing for That's me. That's the truth. <laughs> Did you really not start off with a turn zero? Oh, wow, we have started. <laughs> we may have been a little bit distracted. A little bit? A little bit. I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'm just I'm just here to have fun. Alright, so the rules of this game are I have hexproof, creatures can't be countered, I have flash. <laughs> we can't we gain life, we can't prevent damage. Well, one of those matters. I guess thought seems would matter. Go ahead. Okay. Sarah Sanctum, past turn. Yeah. Yeah. And the excuse I always use, but it's true, it is pretty late here. We're getting, we're pushing midnight. Belfast Strix. Belfast Strix is good. Go ahead. End of turn. Serum powder. Yeah. yeah. Good old flash. It just makes mana. That's all. Oh, no, I was looking at the CMC because it looked like five. Yeah. It is a broke to cable at three, and I'll uh, pass turn. Yeah, Baleful Strix, it's such a good card. I get that it doesn't have relevant creature types and it's 1-1, one, one, but even so, I do wonder why it isn't played in more decks. And it's an artifact creature. Yeah. Aside from maybe... Fetch. Okay. Blip. Alright. Get that Candy Crush ad. I know, me too, man. I'm rolling my eyes to the back of my head as well. All the way back. Ooh. Though I actually try it and it kind of hurts. So let's not do that again. <clears throat> there we go. The straggler. Uh, hey, Leovold. You're pretty cool. Info. Yep, you got me. Go ahead. <laughs> Past turn. Sad face. Rip. Rip to one glistener elf. Died to a 3 3. GT is good. Yeah, gee, I wonder what we're doing. Or I guess <laughs> it could be on either one. <laughs> hmm. No, it doesn't really matter which one I grab at this point. Not right now, it doesn't. <laughs> it sure doesn't. It does have to be blue or black. Though. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the the creature. Uh, but yes, yeah, so every deck in your, or every land in your deck qualifies. Every deck um, in your. I know. This deck not run by you? No, no bayous. Mm -hmm. The only off blue land it runs is Badlands, mm -hmm. a singleton. That's it. And actually, in this most recent iteration of the deck, I'm not 100% sure it has Badlands in it. Although, admittedly, it's not too often that I go back to the Legacy Gauntlet to uh, make some alterations. I'm about to with this one. This deck is, uh, uh, it's cute. It's cute. Fair enough. Uh. Alright. Yeah, hit me for four, get your two counters, get them while they're hot. Um, I have double hexproof. Yeah. <laughs> Matters. And pass turn. Totally matters. 
Is there a top deck in this world that would save me? Not against Force of Will. Skarn? Scalding Tarn? Mm. Or... Yeah. In for four. Yep, rolling it up to four. Go ahead. Come on, top decks of nope. Top decks of nope. Last turn. Mm. Yeah. And All right. Before damage. All right. I will play another serum powder. You got me. <laughs> okay. You got me. I, like, <laughs> I needed a top deck opalescence. No. And there, it was two from the top. But even if I had, did you have a counterspell? You had Brainstorm, Brainstorm, Force of Will, Baleful Strix. Yep, you got me. <laughs> you got me. Well, so this deck is, is not a thing. <laughs> Alright. You have given up the ghost ley lines. That was, that was your last chance. No, it's fun. It's fun to play, but it doesn't give me a lot of agency. It somehow manages to play, to quote the person that, as far as I'm aware, invented the deck, it somehow manages to play even less magic than Dredge, which is saying something.